today, as you can see behind me, we are back in Belfast. Just to let you know, I've actually, I had the train, I got the train to Titanic Porter and it's going to be in a different vlog, not this one, but I was actually meant to be right now in Thunderland, but it has just opened and there's no one in it pretty much. So I have decided to, as I'm hungry, go into Belfast here and find some place that I can eat some food, really. Uh, to kill some time and then I will make my way back to do my upper vlog anyway. But for this one we're gonna probably cross that bridge, so I'll see you there in a moment. And then just literally dander around until we find somewhere nice. And then we'll do a bit of a food vlog, uh, which you'll probably know from the title anyway. What that might be, I still don't know yet, so I'll see you on the bridge. So, on the bridge now, and we're pretty much on our way to cross to see what we can actually find food wise. You might have seen from the other vlog where we ended it at the fish, which we'll see in a moment too, uh, but that's where we're going. So this is this nice wee bridge that sort of links the like the Odyssey, which is over there, and the Titanic Quarter, which I was earlier, and I will be in the other vlog. Uh, but this bridge links that and then the city centre as well. So pretty much that's that's what you would take then if you've got a bike or anything or you're walking or whatever. Obviously you can't get a car across this bridge, so so yeah. Just continuing our way really then. I'm getting quite hungry. I've only had a bowl of cereal anyway. So yeah, there's the fish. And it's quite a nice view actually, you know, across all that waterway. I'd actually like to do a wee music video, maybe sitting down on that wee dock over there and then sort of facing over there. But yeah, it's quite nice like to look at anyway. So a good wee scenic walk if you're looking to come to, to town from that sort of direction behind us anyway. First the upper view of the, what's it called, the Albert clock on a slant because of the uh, sandstone underneath it, I think. The bedrock is just like soft. So I said that the last time too. Hey, so safely made it across the road. And now we're on the other side, on our way to get our grub, whatever that may be. So this is just a bit of a city as we haven't seen it before. I think in one of the other vlogs we were basically walking the other way, so you didn't get to see that much there. And I have learned I need to speak up in order to be heard amongst all the traffic and stuff like that. Uh, so hopefully that's a bit better now for you. Tell you what, down there does look kind of interesting. But, but here looks more interesting, to be fair it's busier, so we'll go this way. And if we see a nice sweet cobblestone sort of area, that, that actually looks nice there. We'll go there, since we can cross. So on our way over, try not to get run over. So I believe once we get down here then and turn right after that wee yellow house thing or the bandstand, that is us at Victoria Square, which we actually have been. You've seen that. We'll go here. And if you haven't seen it, then you should watch the other videos before watching this one. So here we go. There's good old Lidl. I could get a wee quick bite to eat there, but I think I want something proper, something nice and warm, really, so we'll do that first. Flip, that's a tall building. So not in fair today anyway, but maybe another time. Probably a bit boring to go somewhere like that. There is a uh, opening in November at some point, the Freemark. Uh, it's like the flagship store and it's going to have like a Disney cafe in it. Probably won't vlog that to be fair, like I'm not too into Disney cafes or anything. But the actual store itself, it's going to have like five, five floors and before it like burnt down or had a fire, uh, it had four floors and now it's going to have the extra floor. So that should be interesting. We might check it out one day, but not specifically to see it like that. 
we've been in there, that's like the same as like the... Oh, it is Joey's entry. So we have been in there before, uh, so we'll go down this way, which we haven't been. It smells funky back there, like like plants or something. So, Oh, yeah, we've been down there too, the crown entry. I think that's where the smell's coming from, actually. I don't like it. So that's that building actually over there, so it's still having work done on it. And they do say, I think it's like, I don't know, like the 1st or something of November. It's either the 1st or the 5th, I think it's the 1st. So down that way is Victoria Square again. I might cut, cut in that way. They say, we'll see what's going on, like. See what the crack is down here then. Very t I think it was August, this is now October like, but we're here now, um, but in August it was like the fairy tale thing that was going on, uh, which was like, if you've seen that one, it's like all the like, like the red, miss, uh, little red riding hood, and little red lost house and everything that we were in, um, but yeah, that isn't here now obviously, but it might be a bit different. See all those birds. What a vibe here, look. Awesome. Oh, look at all the birds feeding. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, look, a man's like holding them and stuff. came here because you don't always know what you're going to see so all these cocoon birds and everything that's actually awesome like that that is happening they're like they're flying into me and everything Whoa. right okay let's go let's go back here then lead us on to the like main part we were just in before we took our detour here which I'm glad we did because we got to see those pigeons like flying everywhere which was great and it was recording so I'm very happy with that awesome a smiggle could we like toy shop I work in a toy shop now if you didn't know so yeah and you still that Right, on the lookout, I see the KFC up there. Don't know if I really want that, but it might come to that. Um, there is the McDonald's too, but again, I feel like something a wee bit different that I haven't tried before really. And um, that'll be more interesting, but maybe I shouldn't say that in case I end up going there anyway. So. Oh look, there's Lush. We were in there last time. And it's like got all the Halloween stuff in it now. How cool. Awesome. I think I hear like an accordion guy playing in the distance. We'll follow that sound and see where that takes us then. That's the best way to do it, just follow sounds and sights and stuff. So yeah, we'll do that. So it could be like a rose thing. 
never seen him before. He was here on the melody. No, go back this way. Looks a bit more interesting to be fair. Is, is that open? Is this the, uh, the same one? So it is, yeah, it's going. That's opening in November, I think. There, I thought that was like maybe they got the dates wrong. And I was like, happy days, we'll check that out. But no, it's not the same one. So there's the good old city hall again. Been here, what's this, the third time now? I wonder if there's anything special going on today or anything. I haven't heard about anything, but we'll walk past. Uh, like the last time, we if we didn't walk to the Victoria Square, we wouldn't have seen those birds and that man feeding them. So you never know, maybe something interesting will happen there too, or not. But we'll never know until we try it out, so. Right, that just got there. Let's head this way. Where do we find? I feel like we kind of went past all of it really like, but we'll keep on going down here to see. Whoa, look at all those. All those tubs. That's whenever you know it's like Christmas time, all these like different sweet tubs and everything that you see. What is that? The center? Alright, okay. Oh look, there's where we were trying to go earlier. That's the like the Thunderland place. But like there's no one in it. But I think it's got like a log flume and stuff. So be sure to check out that other video, which I'll probably like post before this one anyway. Uh, so yeah, look back if you haven't seen that one already. And also the Thundermania one too, it'll be at night, so it's, it's a bit different too, which is quite good. Okay, so I had a walk around there, as you've seen, but I really couldn't see anywhere if that was nice, but... I found Tim Hortons, and it's like a Canadian place, and I've never actually tried it. So since it's here, I think I'd like to try it. So we'll go on in and get stuff ordered, and have a wee sit down. Look at the menu. Okay, let's see. No, back to the rocks here. Crispy chicken and we will have... We'll try that. I Ioli. Never heard of that, so we'll try it. Yes, we will have a coffee. Fries, dipping sauce. Go for barbecue. Thing. I think. We'll go, we'll go 
for that latte, I think. No, we'll go for a mocha. No. Right, order and pay them. Right, so pretty much the same as McDonald's then, so we've ordered it. I'm not going to wait and see what um, time frame it will take for us to really get our order then. So yeah. what the Satan's like while we were waiting. We get to get a window seat though. They're all taken, so yes I said I've never tried this like so it'll be very interesting to see what it'll actually be like. And um, the Ioli Mayo haven't really tried that. I'm not even quite sure what it is, but yeah we'll find out. Okay, so sat down now, um, pretty much the only thing I actually changed at the last minute is the mocha. I changed it to a pumpkin spice latte because I just seen it like on the board and I felt like, well, it's that time of year so we may as well get one of those and I love pumpkin spice so. So that's what that looks like. It's probably just kind of boring anyway like so, but we'll see what the Ioli Mayo chicken um, wrap things like anyway so I'll set it on. I wasn't expecting to come here, but the fun park place was dead, so we're gonna like kill time here until we get there, really. So. so it comes in now. So I did, and that'll be a bit too dry, I think. So I'm gonna go get my dip, and then I'll be right back. I'm gonna get the dip now, so I'm sort of keeping an eye on my stuff for prepare too, but yeah. All interesting stuff. Look at all this. Let's see how the Canadians eat them for fast food stuff. Okay, got my dead back now, so we're, we're safe then, we won't get too dry of a month or anything then. So let's get this open, let's see what the crack is with it. I wonder if there's any extra flavour to it or anything, or is it just like a like a chip pretty much in that shape? I don't know. Very crunchy. No extra spice. 
rice to it or anything. Just quite quite a standard sort of fried potato thing, so that's it. The flavors in Barapa are a lot more interesting than that I must, uh, must admit. You can see like it's actually very moist inside there. I haven't tried the, um, the pumpkin spice latte yet. So it may have cooled down, I don't know. I'll try very slowly. Okay, it's still very warm, but I got a bit of a taste. Pumpkin spice, yeah. It's good, it's just what you would expect really. Uh, but I'm happy I got it. Sorted, fed, copied, still got my left. That was good. So we'll say goodbye. Thanks very much everyone. Cheers. So on our way back out then, um, we'll find out exactly um, what the route then back to the Thunderland will be. It'll be across that bridge again that we've seen earlier. Uh, but yeah, no, that was really good actually. Like I've still got most of the uh, pumpkin spice latte left. So I'll have it and I'll be fully, fully like woke up and fed, watered, so to speak, for the, for the thunder, Thunderland even, not Thundermania. So I'll maybe see as I'm approaching that, and then once you've watched that, go back to it and watch that video, because I'm sure it'll be great now that it's picked up a bit. So yeah, I'll see you soon on the bridge. Okay, so as promised, back onto the bridge where we kind of started this vlog, just over there. Actually, where that truck's sort of underneath that. So I thought I'd end it here. Uh, listen, I would really recommend that place. That Tim Hortons is actually really, really nice. Uh, it's a wee bit overpriced. Like, I mean, it was £7.30, I think, for like for wrap and the coffee and the chips. But I mean, considering Madame Pooh, it was like nine quid. <laughs> For just a sandwich like i mean it, it, it's okay it's actually decent value and it tastes very good isn't too dry or anything so i'd recommend it actually i'm off to uh, the thunderland now so as i said earlier already take a look at that one and i'll see you in it bye <laughs>